Hey guys, today I'm finally going to be building my foam helmet. Ah! I built. Ah, oh, crap! My iPad fell over, I'm sorry. I had to reach over there. I already built the proper sized helmet. It's exactly perfectly sized. You can tell it's perfect size because I can hardly get it on my head without ripping it to bits. It's good. You're supposed to not be able to even get it on. But yeah, I, um... I shaped it very well in the back. It's very round and perfect. And um, the cheekbones are kind of... It's a little bit too wide, but that's because of the cardboard. That's just because the cardboard doesn't really bend and flex in the ways that a foam helmet would be bending. And these are templates for foam. But yeah, I, I didn't bother putting in, like, you know, this bit or this bit or the space... Or the ah, tra um, trapezoid spacers right here. Because, you know... Why, bo why bother if it's just a practice helmet? Especially when it's the f when you know it's the last one I have to do. Yay! Uh, now I'm going to finally build a, a foam one. It will actually fit and it'll be proper and it'll look great. And I can paint it up and I can put lights in it and it'll be awesome. Oh my gosh, my hair looks great. Yeah, it'll look great. Through the hole in the helmet. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's get building. I'll do a time lapse of it. It'll be wonderful. Goodbye. Boom! Time lapse. With the solve. Here are some pictures I took of the process of making the helmet like you know tracing it onto the mats and then cutting it out in glorious HD
Hey guys, I finally got the pieces of my foam Iron Man helmet that I'm going to be building. Ah, pile. There's so many pieces, I've probably lost a few. I uh, was doing that, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, I have tons of them, and they're giant and massive, and you do this, and they go right here, and then, like, you can do this, and then, like, put this here, and hold that there, and then you do this, and then you're Iron Man, and, and every single person on the planet was fooled, except for everyone involved. But yeah, I basically do that. They put everything else around it, and it looks great. Can you tell I stayed up late? I think you can tell from the bags under my eyes. Now I look properly more like Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to use this as the map for uh, the pieces because this is a very well put together one I made out of cardboard. It's the map for the pieces. Uh, everything, every single piece is put in the right proper place in the right in the right way. So I'll just. Use that, I'll keep that to the side so I can put it together and I have all the pieces and I have my hot glue and I will finally be able to make a proper Iron Man helmet. I've got like my LEDs with the resistors right here. Lots of LEDs. That's only half of them. But I have like above ten. I've got ten LEDs. And a lead for the um nine volt battery, which I got purposefully because I wanted to be able to power them with 9-volt battery. 9-volt battery makes the most sense because it has the most... It lasts the longest of batteries. You know what I mean? You have one and it can be its own battery box. And it just makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to cut back in in the several intervals of building. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like my shirt. Like my manly... Manly shirt. <laughs> my massive muscles. You see my massive muscles? <laughs> okay, let's get building. I'll cut back in in a few in a few minutes while I'm sort of building bits. Hey guys, I've done the faceplate. It's um it looks really nice. And uh, maybe one day I'll detail the inside of it, I don't know. Possibly. Right now I've got um just so that it turns out exactly perfect, I've got a picture of the prototype sculpted helmet. Silence here is intentional. Don't think the clip messed up. What was made for the movie. You know, because obviously they're not just going to design in a 3D modeler, which would make sense for some things, but no, he sculpted it. Um, I can't remember who the artist was, but he sculpted it originally out of a giant clay blob. from, And he had like massive wall of pictures of all the Iron Mans from that well they were basing it off of. Which I think was the extremist Iron Man and a little bit of the I think uh someone else uh, some certain artist's Iron Man. And um yeah that's what they based the movie one off of and that's what the picture, this big sculpture looks like. And I'm trying to make mine look exactly perfect. So I've, you know, bent it in the right curves and stuff. You just basically do this, hold it for a second, and it will, and you know, it will get that nice curve in it. Yeah, and um, and I've got like the eyes are the right size, both symmetrical, and um, and the uh, the the brow was. I'm very proud of the brow because the brow is right is the right sticky out part. Yeah, the brow is right sticky out part, just like in the movie, and I'm very proud of that. I 
can't wait till it's um till I've done building it because the building of it's the funnest part. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a second with the rest of it. Well, for you, it's a second. For me, it will be like 20 more minutes for another piece of it. Maybe it will be the back section or the chin. <gasps> the chin's my favorite part, just so you know. It's lots of nice little bits that fit together in a nice, beautiful little way. So, yeah, I like that. Boom! Hey, guys, I'm back, and I've done the, I've done the upper back section. Yay! Um, I'll be back in a second for you. Well, a second for you, like in like an hour for me with the rest of the helmet. Okay, now I've got a bit carried away. I've made, um, I've put together the whole helmet instead of showing you the separate pieces. But doesn't it look great? I did such a good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so round. And everything is so perfectly placed. Stealth, really. Claiming that I would. Claiming that, that because I am quote unquote noob that I would make it asymmetrical or just look wrong. Looks great to me. But still, thank you, Stealth, for providing the templates. Thank you so much, man. You've been a real big help. You're really cool. And, um, yeah. Thank you. Without, I, wouldn't have not, I would not have been able to do this without Stealth. Um, link in the description for his videos and tutorials if you want to make your own. Also, um, link to the mats you can get from Kmart down below in the underbar right there. Um, yeah. If you like this, you want to see the other videos like me at the, um, like cosplaying at the Iron Man 3 premiere, then subscribe. Please, please leave a like below and comment because I would love to hear what you have to say about this. Goodbye! Thank you so much for watching my armor vlogs and this one specifically. And the next one will be me sealing this helmet and then painting it up. And it will look awesome. And then the one after that will be me putting the lights in. Bye! Wait, I know that the cheekbones look a little wide right now, but I fixed that later. So, yeah, it looks really, really perfect right now. Here is the time I'm recording this voice. Bye.